previously on the Höger Kustenleden. We spent the night in the most beautiful little cabin in the middle of Skuleskoga National Park. As we are gaining elevation, we can really see why this area is called the High Coast. We finally see the famous crevasse named Slotsdal Kravan. Since we left early, we are the only ones here. The rest of the day we enjoyed the beautiful weather and saw the first glimpse of Skuleberget. In eight episodes we are taking you along this beautiful trail. We are hiking through deep forest and mountaintop viewpoints, passing beautiful lakes that you only see in Sweden and sleeping in beautiful places along the way. Nowhere else in Sweden can you hike at these heights so close to the sea. Welcome to the Höga Kustenleden. Good morning! As you can see, I'm hiking solo at the moment. Ever since we finished the TMB a couple of weeks ago, Aletta's knee is really aching. And at first during this trail, there were no problems with her knee, but yesterday with quite a demanding and rocky trail, her knee started aching again, which is not nice, of course. And we thought she would recover this night, but we didn't have uh, a really good sleep last night, to be honest. It was quite chilly and wet, but uh, unfortunately, her knee is still aching at the morning, so I'm doing this detour by myself. Uh, like we mentioned yesterday, it's the Skullenberg detour, Skullenberget, I'm not sure how we pronounce it actually. But it's a 300 meter mountain, and halfway up a trail is a cave. And that cave uh, was used by robbers in the past. So let's see how it goes, the weather is really beautiful, it's now 8.30 and it should take me about two to three hours then going back to Aletta she is at the tent to recover and we'll see from there Right behind me is the robber's cave and the other side behind me, the view is incredible. I think it took me half an hour to get up here and it was a pretty fun trail to be honest. It was steep and rocky, but very doable. There were some ladders and steel cables, but not that big of a problem from here. I think it's 15 minutes to the top. I made it to the top and it was quite beautiful, really beautiful. And 
I would recommend this detour if you're hiking the High Coast Trail like we are. Normally the trail goes underneath the mountain, but there are a couple of trails that lead upwards the mountain, like this is the Cave Trail and you have the South Trail, the East Trail, so multiple options. Couple of tips if you're hiking the Cave Trail, don't hike it down because some parts are very slippery and steep. And one tip, maybe leave your heavy backpack down because all the trails come to the beginning again. So leave your backpack there and just bring one easy day pack with light stuff to carry you up. So this is Skulleberget Nature Reserve. This is the whole mountain. This is where we stayed last night and where we camped and where Alette is right now. I took this blue trail over here all the way to the other side of the mountain. Then I went up the steep climb towards the cave, that's here. Further up the steep stairs, then I made it to the top. And from here my plan is to hike this blue trail down, it's quite an easy trail. Then take a side trail here, whoop, to the lake, back to Alette. <laughs> I'm back at the campsite. I think this detour cost me two hours. And I think it's a really recommended detour if you're hiking the High Coast Trail. It's really beautiful up there, beautiful views. The trail is quite spectacular as well. Now let's see how Aletta is doing over there. I was just packing all my stuff. So, and trying to dry the tent, but still wet. So hopefully the sandal does his work. Just a little behind the scenes of camping life. If you're camping, and it's quite chilly in the night, like we need to dry our tent. So we kept the outside of the tent over there to let it dry. The inner tent is drying here. The sleeping bags as well, they got a little bit uh, damp on the, on the top, but these sleeping bags, whoa, they are incredible. On the Koenslede we had minus six and they kept us warm all night. So, so far we're really happy with, uh, with the brand Cumulus. Very happy and the jackets are incredible as well. Happy, happy, happy. Alette is cleaning the inside of the tent, I think. Just packing the stuff. Oh. <laughs> Alette is packing the stuff while I'm preparing some coffee now. So we just packed everything and dried all our stuff and we're ready to go. Yeah, and today is quite a long day because it's 17 kilometers to Oelanger. That's the next town we want to go to. Um, and it's well, yeah, there, a lot of roadwalks. There are yeah. quite a few roadwalks actually, but still there are some nice viewpoints along the way. So let's enjoy the day.
After a day filled with road walking, road walking and road walking, we decided to check into a hotel to treat ourselves and Aletta's knee with a good night's rest. On the next episode of the Heuga Kusteleden. We have a long but easy day with not much elevation gain. This stage promises to be the unique selling point of the Heuga Kuste area, with typical Swedish houses, high coasts and beautiful views.